the way you move through life, the way you feel about yourself, let's say that again, the way you feel about yourself should not be up for auction. <laughs> welcome, welcome to the Rebel for Spell podcast. I am your host, Twin Peets. It is an honor, an honor to share this moment with you. It is early in the morning and oh, what a glorious day, what a glorious day it is. Ah, my loves, from my soul to yours, it's time for you and me to stop, <laughs> to stop not being who we were made to be. It's time for you and I to stop not being who we were made to be. Let's be who we were made to be. Because, darlings, have you seen um, a honeybee trying to be a mango tree? Have you seen a mango tree <laughs> trying to become a honeybee? Two separate DNA, DNA codings. Mm. Yes, but sometimes as humans, you know, no one really, if you think about your life, go inside your life for a moment, inside your veneers of your life, and think for a moment where you have been taught to express yourself in the purest ways, mm. to share your secret, delicious desires with even God or your personification of God? Have you been taught to put effort there? I didn't. But I stumbled upon it. I stumbled upon it as a child. I said, ah, <laughs> what would it be like to be me? I ask you to ask yourself, encourage you to ask yourself the same question. What would it, what? would it be like to be you and what would it feel like to be all of you 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 because life causes us every day whether it's through our families or our cultures or places we work that company's culture the government structure the country the culture you name the thing a book we've read Ah, oh, life causes us to almost do these algebra equations. Yes, you know about algebra, maybe. Formulas, mathematics, where x plus y equal x plus y plus p equal. And if you add a 2 before that, and if you add a whole bunch of other equations in that, voila, the results will be different, my loves. Algebra, formulas, and equations are fine. I love, I love and appreciate math and physics and chemistry and all the things. And math is important as we go about living our lives and building our financial empires. Yes, please, money is delicious. We need to know how to count our beans <laughs> and our millions or whatever you're counting, my loves. Count them all. Everything matters. Count them pennies on the streets you're picking up because, hey, Ain't nothing wrong with that. Even if you're a millionaire, a trillionaire, whatever level of financial success you have gained, it's okay to be all of who you are. I pick up pennies on the streets if I see them. I did it yesterday. <laughs> My loves, here's the thing. When you and me, when you and me funnel or try to predict, try to move or assign meaning, value, worth to our lives and ourselves to some type of formula algebraic equation that somebody has we say to the world and broadcast to ourselves i am going to hmm, do this thing apply this condition Meaning, if I do what 
Peter, Paul, and Mary, and Jane, and Sally May says to do, then I will have those same results. We do all of that and we don't take a moment to say, hey, 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 you in the mirror. What and who are you? What and who are you? Like Sesame Street. I remember in Sesame Street, they had this, this little cartoon where there was this little girl would be bouncing around. And she'd go, uh, what would happen if I were to pop this balloon? Ah, ha, ha. <laughs> Do you remember that commercial? Not commercial, but that skit. What would happen if you were to pop the balloon of the conditions, the formulas that you have been living your life, that are telling you and training you that that is how you have to follow along somebody's certainty formula that says, if you do this, then the result will be that. That's a condition, right? If you use Excel, Microsoft Excel formula, form equation, mathematical type application, you know what I mean. If this happens in this, if you're filing your taxes, they say, hey, if you make this amount of money, then this will happen. Or you can add these or subtract these or you can do deduction and do these things. Formulas, formulas, formulas. You are not a formula, darlings. Did you know that? <laughs> you are not a formula. You are so much more dynamic than that. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. And you, the way you move through life, the way you feel about yourself. Let's say that again. The way you feel about yourself should not be up for auction. Hmm? That's what happens, my loves. That's what happens. The way you feel, the way you feel about yourself should not be up for auction by the highest bidder of conditions. Meaning, okay, 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 you're worth $10 because you have done formula that says 5 plus 5 is 10. What about your formula that says 1 plus 1 is 10? You decide that meaning. You choose the reality that shows up in your life. You choose how you feel. You choose the reality that shows up in your life. You choose how you feel and you choose the formula that you don't want to work with no more. Forget about the formula. Stop trying to not be who you were made to be. So the first step to doing that is to do what? Tear up the formula you're using. <laughs> Say it again. Tear up. Disregard. Ignore. Break up with the formula. Come off of the auction block when it comes to being you. And you just for a few moments, maybe even this day, if you're feeling brave, if you're feeling called to, today, this day, try being a little bit more tapped in to how you ah, feel. Try being more aware of where your mind goes. And where it wants to stay on the auction block, applying a formula, proving to them that you, you, are one of them. Are you one of them, really? Or are you just, or are you just doing what's familiar? Hmm? What's being approved as Miss Niceness International 2024? <laughs> I just said that because niceness is uh, fleeting. You gotta live with you. Who is living in your meat suit? Who is living in your meat suit? Is it Sally Mae, Jessica, Paula, Pauline, Theodore, <laughs> or is it you, my loves? Stop not being who you were made to be. M-A-D-E. Stop not being who you were meant. M-E-A-N-T. To be. Because the moment that you get that sprinkle in your spirit that says, ah, wait a minute, wait a minute. I have been dismissing the things that make me feel good. The things that make me feel like the breeze stretched out of the ocean. The thing that makes me say, woman in the mirror, I know you. 
I believe in you and I feel you're becoming your home. That you decide that you are worthy of because when you master the U.S.T. you, baby, <laughs> look out world. In your purest expression, the world will absolutely be nurtured and so will we. But we are not trained to do that. We are not trained to tap in, tune in and get turned up <laughs> by ourselves. And it intimidates us sometimes when, it, when we try on this new feeling, when we try on this new level of us, of our USD. But darlings, darlings, my love, as I share in my Joy Momentum course, if you are ready hmm, to step into a new path of growth within your relationships with yourself and your loved ones, if you are ready hmm, for a new level of, of financial health, in your life, if you are, whatever growth means to you, if you are ready to break up with people and practices that feel like your life is on a heartburn patrol, <laughs> this is my invitation to you to stop not being who you were made to be. Because there's only one you and the world is waiting. The world is waiting, waiting, salivating to hear you. To see you live your life beyond the veil of tears. Called conditions. Conditions that somebody else told you, told you you need to follow. It's okay, my love. It's safe to trust yourself. Mmm. And it's delicious. <laughs> I just had to tell you that, my love. Yes, it takes work. Yes, it takes courage. And that's why I have the Joy Momentum. The Joy Momentum course. Live and ready on demand here for you. I'll leave the link somewhere in the comments so that you can get plugged in and turned up and turned out by you and what you want and who you were made to be made to be the joy momentum course is here for you my loves because this love and support is going to be available for you 24 7 365 whenever you need it because a honey bee ain't a mango tree no matter how others may want it to be meaning you will come upon your design and your intuitive whispers will keep coming through guiding you, divinely guiding you into the person, into the gorgeous soul you were made to be. And I'm always here supporting you, my loves. I'll leave the link for the joy momentum course here for you. And please know this, and forever, divine greatness is living inside of you. Oh, what a reservoir love, freedom, opportunity, and joy. I cannot wait for you to come home to peace with yourself. <laughs> I'll see you soon, my loves.